Hello world, welcome to the 29th video on my channel where I'm building my own digital assistant like Jarvis from the Iron Man comics and movies. Speaking of the movies, I'm sure everyone, like me, was entertained by Marvel's last Avenger movie, Endgame. Despite the space travel, the time travel, aliens, superhumans, and magic stones, I focused on Iron Man's digital assistant, Friday. Uh, it was Jarvis but then they downloaded it into Vision, and then he uploaded Friday. you have to watch the movies if this is all new to you. So there's one scene in general that really inspired me. So, spoil alert, pause. Three, two, one. Okay. In the final fight scene, Thanos picks up Iron Man, so he hits Thor's hammer, and then goes flying, knocking him unconscious. Then, his digital assistant Friday says, Boss, wake up. And my mind was blown. So, let's watch that scene now. Uh, copyright Marvel, of course. Uh. Boss, wake up. Alright, so that was the quick clip. Um, how did she know he was unconscious and not sleeping? I imagine um, with how advanced throughout the whole movies, you know, it's not that hard to see how she was able to do that or it. But I want that when I create some sort of my own suit or wearable someday. So in this video, we're going to start off um, by checking my heart rate by using a wearable heart rate sensor designed by a company called OpenBCI. Now this is not a sponsored video and I don't make any money if you buy something from this company. So this is the fifth video in my Arduino playlist and the OpenBCI sensor runs quickly and easily once you get it. I've also integrated it into my Python program which we'll see later. So here's the website right here. I will post a link to what I bought. So you buy this and then uh, once you get it you follow the instructions. Uh, you have to click a couple times to get to the Arduino specific instructions. So uh, you follow the instructions here to plug it in your Arduino. I'll add this link to the description and just go exactly like it says. Um, it worked perfectly for me. So first you'll have to update the library, manage the library. So very good instructions, very detailed. Um, if you're new to Arduino, then you might want to, uh, you know, um, learn a little bit before you do this. But see right here where it says the Getting Started Project? I did that. But today we're going to be looking at the Getting the BPM to Monitor. And I've edited my sketch slightly, but the example works perfectly. So in Arduino, here we go. I'm going to connect the pulse sensor to my finger. All right, so we're going to open the serial monitor. You could do that by going to Tools, Serial Monitor. Okay, it says we created a pulse sensor object and now it is measuring my beats per minute. So it starts off high, so don't freak out. I'm in my upper 70s, now 80s, probably because uh, I just came back from a workout and took a hot shower about an hour ago. So that's pretty cool. So we're going to exit out of this. And so this is there getting BPM to monitor. I made a slight edit because it has a uh, little thing that I didn't want in there. So I'm not going to go through this. My channel is not a tutorial series, but um, their documentation is really good. And uh, just upload this, then verify and upload to it. And then I took out this little thing where it says a heartbeat happened because I didn't want that printing when we go to Python. So that's pretty awesome. So if you're going to use Python 2, just remember you can't have the serial monitor open. It's one or the other. So if we go to Arduino, 
All right, I created this function called heart rate monitor, and let's check that out. And there you go, my beats per minute. So just keep scrolling through that. And in a future video, you will see a uh, graphical user interface or a heads up display, whatever you want to call it. And uh, my heartbeat will be in there so you always know. And then you just do some, uh, you know, artificial intelligence or some deep learning to know what's, a, what's your normal beats per minute. What's dangerous? What's unconscious? All right. So we're going to stop this. Clear that and go through the code real quick. So first you create a function called heart rate monitor. Um, you had to uh, import serial. And then try and accept, like always on my channel, if this is the first time you're watching it. Uh, the plan is for all of my modules to go live, so you need very good um, exception ca accept capturing. So first you try. So you create a variable called serial.serial. .serial. Uh, that's in my uh, COM3. You can see which COM yours is going to by going to, I believe, tools, board Arduino, and then your port. And it will give you all the serial ports, and you just select yours. Okay, so mine's called COM3. The baud rate is 9600. That's what Arduino uses for the serial monitor. And then you sleep for two seconds because I think Python works faster than an Arduino board. And so you want it to not ping it every, you know, millisecond. So this sleeps for two seconds. And then while it's true, so that's just saying as long as you don't exit from the system, you try and then you, you're going to read the line. So every time there's a new line, you're going to read it. And then you're going to put that in decoded bytes, a variable called decoded bytes dot decode. So Arduino talks in um, ASCII, ASCII, right? And so you don't want that. So if you're writing to it, like if you've seen from my um, Nerf controlled, you know, Python control controlled Nerf gun, that's you're passing to them ASCII, but now we're reading. So we need to read in UTF-8. And you can see in PyCharm that indeed the encoding is UTF-8. And then you just print those decoded bytes. So if you press any button, you'll break this right here. Um, it's yelling at me PyCharm because really you should do accept um, you know, good accept clauses, and it doesn't like a bare accept. But for this, it works. I will probably enhance it later. And then this accept goes to this try, and if your Arduino is not connected, it'll yell at you. So I'm going to disconnect my Arduino, and let's run it again. Oh, I forgot to print it. So let's say print... There's no Arduino board connected. Okay, let's try that again. Boom, there's no Arduino board connected. Okay, let me comment that out. I don't want that. All right, so I'm super excited on how easy it was to install and use um, the OpenBCI products. There's a bunch of cool ones. So if we go here, you can see that they even sell a whole kit. Now these are a little bit out of my price range for now, um, but here we go. The whole classroom bundle, you can get these little electrodes on your head. I want this all. I want everything on this site. All right. So this is just the first step in building some sort of uh, wearable device or a suit, if you will, and in it using my digital assistant named Shane. So I hope you enjoyed this video. 
If so, please subscribe, hit the notification bell, and like this video. And then, if you are also a programmer using OpenBCI, please leave a comment and um, link your YouTube videos. So I want to watch them all. I mean, I search them on YouTube, but I really want other people to see what other people are doing. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Goodbye, world.